Best thing you can do with your photography is stop sucking at it. Hi friends, today I am here to talk to you about something that's very important to me, and that is coffee. Um, today, I realized I didn't have any almond milk to put in my coffee. It's just, it's just, it's a latte with vanilla and coffee in it. Very fresh coffee, which is good, but no almond milk. How can you have a latte without almond milk? This is how heroes are born. Well, I tackled that subject quicker than I thought. Let's go ahead and move into another one. Today, I want to talk about curation. Content curation has now come to mean the act of sorting through the vast amounts of content on the web and presenting it in a coherent way. Thanks, Reginald. All new photographers hit this phase where they are just kind of floating around in the ether and they're just taking photos of landscapes and abandoned buildings and cats and flowers and earlobes and belly buttons and lampshades. Uh, just the lampshades and then they try to take all those things and put them on train tracks This is an important phase of photography. You have to hit this phase to know uh, What you want to do where you want to go with your photography what you're interested in so embrace this phase if you're there um, But once you get your footing you want to curate your brain. That is your next step curate your brain. So the way that I approach photography, the way that I've learned to approach photography is you have your primary pursuit and then you have your secondary pursuits. Primary, secondary. See them? See them right there? They're in my hands. They're literally in my hands right now. I'm holding my primary and secondary pursuits in my hands. They are clearly visible. So figure out what that thing is for you. What's your primary pursuit? I don't have to explain that. It's a totally natural process, right? My primary pursuit is street people, my blog. Um, and if you haven't seen it, what are you doing? Why are you watching this video? Go check it out and you're gonna, your life's gonna be changed forever. You're probably gonna start a nonprofit and save some children's lives. That's all I'm saying. Probably not, probably not actually. So that is my primary pursuit as a photographer. And then I have my secondary pursuits, which are, you know, streetscapes, uh, documentary portraits, uh, documentary uh, anything, really. Whenever I travel, I'm taking pictures of pretty much everything around me, including my face. Because it's freaking beautiful. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> my face is stunning. That's all I'm saying. And my flowing lion locks, my mane, it's, it's, it, it's breathtaking. I know. I know. I'm... I'm kind of amazing. So listen, I'm not trying to complicate your pure, beautiful art form. I'm just trying to help you focus it. Create a beautiful, focused, fulfilling art form of life and joy and gaiety. One thing is you can, uh, you can have two or three primary things, but the goal is to make them easily digestible for your followers, especially. Like if you have a blog, Figure out the best way to make it, f make whatever your, your primary things are, make them digestible. Same thing with your secondary things. Post them all, but make them, figure out a way to curate the experience for people so that they can digest what you are sharing. In a sense, you want your art to be like bread, not gum. You don't want people to get an artistic tummy ache. That's the worst. That is the worst. Police! Oh snap! It's EMS! See, my secondary video pursuits are, I mean video, photography pursuits are definitely kicking in right now because I want to go chase that. But that's okay! To finish the video. If it was like seven cops, you guys would be out of luck. I'd be out of here. I'd just leave it recording and run out the door. Literally. Sean McCabe is somebody I follow who is a hand letterer and he has a podcast and it's amazing and you should go check it out. SeanWest.com <laughs> He said in his podcast uh, something that I thought was really awesome. He said other people's brains can't handle trying to process all of your awesomeness at once. So you have to curate it for them. 
It's all about telling a story to your followers. So um, think of any big photographer that you look up to. Look at them and look at how what you know them for. Do you know them for five different types of photography? Or do you know them for one very specific thing that they're very good at? Or maybe it's two specific things. But the point is, it's a very curated experience for you. Now, also, this is not about confining yourself. Uh, boundaries are the most fertile ground for creativity. This is about focusing your energy and being able to create things that you could not create before. And secondary ventures will feed your primary venture. So when you know you get a little bit tired of taking your your awesome squirrel photography that you've now refined to a ridiculous level like you got squirrels like modeling right here bikini shots of squirrels there's 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 they're doing the like that you told them to drop their chin you're like the freaking squirrel whisperer right you're gonna get a little bit tired of that um and you're gonna want to take just take a step back for a second shift over to your secondary things and when you do that, you're going to have a ridiculous surge of energy to do your secondary thing, which will refuel your first primary thing, and, and it's, it's just beautiful. Before you go night-night tonight, I encourage you to just sit and think about curation and how it can benefit you because it's, it's amazing to really think about how it can help you um, uh, move forward in so many ways for your followers, for yourself, for your family I don't I don't know maybe that doesn't really help I guess if you're making money like it doesn't help your family at all um but sit and think because it, it's um that kind of thought is very useful and will help you grow and be a, this is an SD card I'm done I ran out of things to say I'm gonna go drink my coffee and clip my Clip my knees. <laughs> Clip my knee nails. You know how those? You know how those? One last tip. Focus on what matters. This is by that guy I was telling you about. Mr. Sean West. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. It's got his logo. So nice. <laughs>